Okay, here's the situation that we're walking into. Um, I did not want to make this video. I am honestly just making it because I can't get out of my depression funk and I know that with everything dirty around me, it's just gonna keep going because I am like that. If everything is dirty around me, I just feel really down in the dumps and so if you're feeling the same way, you can clean with me. I've turned on some lights because it's just feeling dark in here, but also the first thing that I love to do before I start cleaning is turn on my diffuser because something about smelling things, it's smelling nice, makes me feel a lot better about my life. This, this is trash that I gathered the other day when I thought I was going to be cleaning my room and could only get like 10 minutes in. I surface level grabbed everything that doesn't belong in here and now I'm going to move on to the laundry. I'm going to just make two piles, one for the baby laundry because I washed that with a different detergent and then one for everything else. You're going to see a lot of stuff. My kids just leave all their clothes in here and when I'm like doing well and organized and with my routine, I can get people in here to clean up and I can clean up more. But when I'm like just focusing on my priorities and letting all the rest fall to the side, it just all accumulates fast, like really, really fast. Cause I have five kids under the age of 10, 10 and under. And so yeah, laundry. And actually, it's not as going to be as bad as it was because I actually did pick some stuff up yesterday. So. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gone. I just took everything to the laundry room and I found out that the load of washing that I'm doing is done. So I'm actually, I was kind of vacillating. I'm gonna go ahead and strip my sheets and wash them. I usually do that on Sundays, but I didn't because, you know, um, so we're gonna do that. All right, the laundry has started. I just have no energy. Um, anyway, laundry has started. I'm just gonna keep hanging in there because I know I've put this off for like seriously a week cleaning my room. And I know that I'll feel better after this. I've got to pull myself out of this funk and this is gonna help. So now I'm gonna tackle like my little side table area. I love having my books there and I love having my little side table neat and orderly and that's just not the situation so let's take care of that. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. Before the blue skies make too great, we're gonna be okay.
too i have gotten a good bit done but it's not all done and i think the last couple of things i'm going to get myself to do are to vacuum because like the feel of the dirt on my feet is driving me insane and like the dog hair i think i'm going to just work on this just a tad bit because there's just like a couple of clean laundry things that i can pick up that's my sad plan that i'm trying to rescue but i have a black thumb and then the last thing whoa whoa the last thing that i'm going to do is probably just put this is all clean baby laundry and i'll put the clean baby laundry away so i can have my changing table back and then i think that that's it uh we will return to this at another date did you show them the cute little toy i didn't we just got this for our little baby this is her first little stuffed animal so i need to take the tag off and wash it so cute. Right here. Aww. Isn't that cute? You want to hold it for a minute? Yeah. Anyway, so I basically need to return to life because the kids are ready for me to be done and I am so ready to be done. I feel exhausted now, but I do feel really, really pleased with the way my side of the room looks because my books are all clean. My side table is clean. My little baby bucket that I keep under my side table is stocked for anytime the baby wakes up in the middle of the night. So anyway, we'll just finish this last little push and then I will return to the rest on another day. This, it does not have to be perfect whenever you are working on anything. I think the biggest thing is just like what's important to you and how can you make your space functional. So that's what we're gonna do. So hard. Ooh, I know you've done your part. It's not fair. You did your time. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be It's 
Okay, so I only have to put my sheets back on. They're in the dryer right now. Um, my battery's about to die, so hopefully I can show you this. I didn't really get this cleaned, but you guys saw my side table area is awesome now and very clean and easy. Um, I got all of this stuff off of the changing table and I put those clothes away of hers, so that's going to help me a lot. And then I cleaned off this little area. I'm just watering that plant. I didn't really get to my husband's side, but it wasn't that dirty and I also vacuumed. So once I have the sheets back on and the bed made, I'll feel a lot better about life. Um, I didn't really unpack uh, the stuff that doesn't belong in my room. That whole uh, bag basket that I did, a whole little bowl that I did. But um, I'll do that probably tomorrow. I'm out of energy. I'll just take the trash down and the vacuum down and then put the sheets on. We'll be done. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Right. With you and I, the future is bright. 